friends, MD vegan. I make a fruit salad today. They were laughing at me. These beautiful colors, fruit. I mean, that's I mean that's the top of the of the of the nutri <laughs> nutritionist pyramid. Well, really, fruit. The thing is that I went through the all the food categories and tried to find out with the lists available online which nutri which food has um, the most um, ecological footprint. Yeah. We, we talk about that a lot today, uh, climate crisis and climate breakdown and all these things, Fridays for Future, we know. But um, the, um, so we all try, many people try now to reduce the ecological footprint, ecological footprint to be part of the solution. Yeah. And of course we know plants are better than animal foods, ecologically, for the climate. Only talking about climate now, and um, but among the fruits and the veggies, we are all vegan. Yeah, I would assume. Even there are differences. I mean, if people on the internet, if I post a video, sometimes people say, "Oh, that is nice, wonderful. It tastes so great." But you know, uh, it is coming from so far. Why don't you buy local foods? And I say, oh, I love the local seasonal food. That is, I mean, I love it the best. But um, when we're talking about climate, you know, and um, reducing the ecological footprint, the if most effective thing anybody can do, we all can do, is eating plants. So that's what I'm voting for. As I try to help and support others also to make it easy, to have an easy solution, to have an easy way to have a vegan um, food, plant-based food. That's what I'm always trying to do. So I love local food, I love food from the season or so, especially when they are fresh um, and, and ripe, yeah? That's the best, but um, I cannot say um, you only should eat regional, regional or local food. That would be a step too far, I guess, um, though it's a good alternative, but what we have to do, and that is things what we really have to keep a focus on, eating plant-based. That's, that's the way we all can pr um, best uh, be part of the solution. So among the plants, also there are differences in ecological footprint. One is, for example, the pollution, uh, the pesticides and these things. The others are, for example, the water, how much water is used, and the third one is the carbon dioxide yeah, that is um, uh, brought into the atmosphere by producing this food or that food. And I was just looking at the water footprint, how much water is needed, and there I have to admit I was shocked. Fruits are the top. Uh, but not the top, I mean, beef is always more, but in the plant kingdom, fruit, these beautiful, wonderful, colorful, delicious, sweet and healthy things are the most water intense of all the plants we have. It's fruit. Nuts are also very high. Yeah? But fruit, above all, and I didn't know that, I was shocked. So all the fruitarians, uh, <laughs> they have to understand it's a lot of water they use by eating fruit. But today I make a fruit salad. I, of course, it is still a plant and we eat, can all eat fruit as much as we can. Yeah? The health aspect will help us because there was a big study, uh, I learned about it from Dr. Greger, they said um, what is the most, uh, uh, the most important cause of premature death today? And I had no idea. I, I thought, yeah, cancer or these kind of things, uh, smoking, whatever. No, it's to eating too little fruit. So on the other hand, they say, another study, you can't eat too much fruit. So eating fruit, what our parents always said, eat veggies and fruit is the best you can do. Fruit, fruit, fruit. And today it's a fruit salad, only fruit. <laughs> That's what I'm doing today. Because I was in the in the health food shop and I saw these colorful fruit. I always get a different fruit, take them home and let them sit for a while until they're really soft and sweet. Sometimes they take a little, uh, especially with kiwi, that is so important. Kiwi has to be ripe and soft um, and, um, and so on. So today I show you I have different fruits and I show you which I have. 
First, um, the apple, all-time favorite on all over the planet. It's the apple here, you see, very simple, an apple. I have one apple here, and um, then I have some strawberries. They are among the first strawberries. Uh, pretty more expensive, these strawberries, but sometimes I enjoy strawberries too. I love them when I get them, in season especially, they are less expensive and taste better. And here a pineapple, half a pineapple. They are of course not local here, yeah, they are from far away, but I will make sure that it should be um, organic at least and fair trade, because it's also important that the, the people are not suffering too much when they work you know, for us, you know, for our food. So fair trade with pineapple, I guess to me, I know the big pineapples in the supermarket, they are less expensive and they're delicious, but I don't buy them that much because, you know, the people are really uh, suffering when they do that. Uh, and so I only take some of the pineapples and the small ones from the health food shop if I take them. So pineapples is in there. Then I have um, nectarines and I was very happy to find these. Nectarines are one of my favorite fruits. They are delicious. Yeah, And I have a kiwi too. Two kiwis here and two nectarines. They all go into the fruit salad. So this is uh, my fresh fruit for the main salad. And what I always love, I mean, I can snack on them, raisins. Super sweet, super healthy, always available, very inexpensive, favorite fruit, definitely. Um, um, like them a lot. And they're also nice with texture in the salad. They give so much um, difference here, a little bit more crunch and sweetness. So very nice. So that's my main fruit. Two groups of three, I show you. And now when I have a little dressing, just a little bit, only fruit, and that is something you might enjoy. Yeah? You can always put fruit salads together, you know, there are a thousand ways. Uh, but the dressings are always a little special. There are not so many dressings as fruit salads, of course. And I have an orange here, a whole orange, of course, peeled. I put them in the blender together with the one lemon. I always like the combination of the sweet orange and a little bit of sour lemon. Yeah, I love that together. One lemon, one orange. And today's special, or very special too as a fruit, goji berry. Yeah. Of course not local, <laughs> it's far away, but um, they are amazing. And I mean, you, you should try them. If you don't know uh, about uh, goji berries, you should try them, they're amazing. They have a very special flavor and are super high in antioxidant, even better than raisins, and raisins are Top goji bears are a little better, but you have to try. I mean, <laughs> I always have some at home. Yeah. It's our eyes to store and sometimes a little snack or so with nuts together. Nice. So I blend now the oranges with the lemon and the goji bears, and you will see what happens. Surprise! <laughs> goji berries. I have done it the first time years ago. I was with friends in the America. I put the goji berries. I didn't even know them before I went to America and now I'm in Berlin here. Um, I blended the goji berries into a smoothie and this color came out only by the goji berries. It was so amazing. I thought wow what a color. I'll show you how to taste it first. But this is so beautiful this color. That's um, why my heart always beats for goji berries just because of this color isn't it amazing let me taste it now mm. it's also a perfect combination of flavors of course more important than the colors is even the flavor that's when all comes together in the end and recently studies found begin to find out I have to say it's a beginning um, that flavor is actually a nutrient 
flavor has nutritional value and a very huge one. They just begin to understand. So they all comes together and that's why the chefs are not completely wrong when they always say flavor is first, flavor is first. Yes, but I say healthy vegan flavor. <laughs> okay, let's see. I show you now. This is my fruit salad. This is the dressing and I show you. It is a little bit sour from the lemon, but that is very good because the fruit in the salad, they are all sweet. Yeah. And so this balances the sweetness of the fruit a little bit. That's why I love lemon so much. Uh, very healthy too and balancing all the sweet components parts. And they can also balance fatty parts in the dressings and other dressings for savory fruit and salads. But now this. So I will enjoy this greatly. It's a big bowl, you see? A big bowl and it needs one apple, one orange, two nectarines, half a pineapple, um, what else do I have? A handful of raisins, some goji berries, I have, forget kiwis, I have two kiwis, there's not ready. <laughs> so I have some fruit here and my stomach will be filled and I guess it will keep for a while because it's also a good way to have a filling meal to eat different kinds of fruits and lots of them. Yeah? You will never get fat by that. <laughs> and yeah, that's very good with fruit. But on the other hand, you have to know it is very lot, very lot, very high um, a quantity of water going into the production of food of the fruit. Yeah. So there's always a little downside, but I guess as long as we are plant-based in our food, we will have we are still part of the solution. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. It's uh, spring and summer is approaching. <laughs> yeah, we will see more fruit and fresh veggies on our menus and how that's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to give me a thumbs up, I'll be getting glad, very glad. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter and subscribe Andy Wiegner on YouTube. That's my main channel, Andy Wiegner on YouTube. You're very welcome.